What you doing? Peace time. Where are you going tomorrow? Um, on an airplane. On an airplane? Yeah, I go see. Are you excited? Yes. Do you know where we're going? We're going say to see Aunt Carolyn. Aunt Carolyn. In hmm? Detroit. Detroit. Michigan. Michigan. Are you excited to get on the airplane? Mm -hmm. So it is August second. It's about eleven twenty-five p.m. and we're gonna get on the airplane tomorrow. Well, we're about to go to sleep so we can get up early. Okay. Say good night. Good night. I love you. Sing a song. Take a take a the guitar. Yes, sing it. No, you sing it. I heard you singing it. Can you sing it one time and then I'll sing it? You sing it first and then I'll sing it, okay? Jingle, little dog, have I run the red door? 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 How I wonder what you are Up above the world so high Like a diamond in the sky Twinkle, twinkle, little star How I wonder what you are And then I'll sing it like you Twinkle, twinkle, little star How I wonder what you are <laughs> Good night. Good night. Love you. Love you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Where are we going? An airplane. Good morning, everyone. We are about to head to the airport. My dad is going to drop me, Layla, and my mom off. Are you excited? It is 6 a.m. and we're headed to BWI.
a Jamba Juice. Oh, is that what you want? Mm. I'm drinking all of my greens and ginger smoothie. Is it good? Thank you. Is it good? There we go. smashed up the mint. I'm not even going to open it now because it's just going to make a mess. You smashed it up. I would have opened it for you had you not smashed it up. Happy Sunday, y'all. If y'all couldn't tell from the vlog yesterday, we traveled to the airport just to travel back home. So, I'm going to break down everything that happened and give y'all a story time while I drive to my grandmother's house and um we just left church so what I thought was going to be a travel vlog will just be a vlog vlog I don't know how many days I'm going to incorporate in this vlog but it also kind of is like a compilation video because I plan on doing a first impression unboxing possibly in this vlog as well. No, maybe I won't. But anywho, I just got some fragrances to try and sample from Jazara's Couture in the mail. I haven't opened up the box yet, but I know it's fragrance related. So be on the lookout for that. Jazar's Couture is a black owned business out of Detroit, where I was supposed to go. So, when we got to the airport yesterday, no, let me backtrack. We were in a car on the way to the airport and the day before yesterday, there was probably 20 seats left on the plane and there was a storm here the night before last it's the summertime we've been getting storms lately it is what it is right and let me give y'all other background information my mom is an employee for southwest airlines so we were flying non-rev standby because we had buddy passes and my mom being an, an employee she does not have to pay to fly but of course it still is standby so, 
usually the plan is when we fly standby we don't check bags or whatever because our seats are not guaranteed but because we had Layla and we were taking a stroller we were going to check our bags so it would be two less things that we had to worry about so when we get to the airport we check our bags then we get into the airport and it is mobbed it's people everywhere people trying to check their bags inside we checked our bags outside at skycat so when we get in the airport also two of the security checkpoints for concourse a and b shut down closed so we had to go to the c security checkpoint and it was mobbed down there as well, but a lot of people were checking their bags. So thankfully, you know, we got through security. It wasn't too stressful. Got through with no issues with Layla. You know, it was good. We get through security and we go to check in and come to find out there was a lot of flight cancellations the night before because there was a storm and there was a Detroit flight that was canceled. So all these people from that flight that was canceled were put on to the flight we were supposed to be getting on. And we chose this specific flight because it was a nonstop. We were not going to do any connecting flights with Layla. And the connections weren't even sensible, right? It was like, leave Baltimore go to you know fly to texas or fly to atlanta then fly to detroit or it would be like fly to ohio fly to st louis then fly to detroit or you know it just did not make sense so we chose the non-stop and that was our only option either that flight or no flight so when we check in, we are numbers 23, 24, 25, or 25, 26, 27 on the standby list. And that means we're not getting on a flight because all these people are already trying to get on a flight. That's full. And the way standby works, if you don't know, is let's say for instance 100 people 170 people however many people are booked for the flight and 10 people miss the flight for whatever reason then you know 10 people on a standby list get those seats so we again are in the 20s and we're like yeah we're don't look like we're getting on this flight so we had already checked our bags right so my mom, an employee, knowing people that work there, she's like, can you have them pull our bags? And they're like, yeah, we'll have them pull because we're not going. We don't want our bags going. So then we go move to another area and go sit and talk with one of my mom's coworkers, Miss Kim, and come to find out the plane changed gates and they were doing that a lot. That was not the only flight whose gate changed and that happens sometimes for whatever reason. So they were gonna pull our bags at that, or at the first gate, but they did not pull our bags at the next gate. So our bags left, our bags left us, flew to Detroit. Then we see there's a flight at 10 o'clock, 10 p.m. And at this point, it's probably like 9.35 in the morning. We're like, all right, we can try and fly there later. And my mom had already tried to cancel our rental car that she had booked and was having issues with that, but they were able to give my mom another booking, essentially for a later time period. Cause it looked like, all right, we'll get there tonight and we'll stay till Tuesday instead of Saturday to Monday. <sighs> okay. Then my mom is trying to cancel the hotel 
which she had booked with points. And they're like, there's nothing we can do. We can't change it. We can't cancel it. It's nothing we could do. And this is via like email or whatever. And she couldn't do it on the website either. So it's like, L, you take an L, you take an L, you take an L. We all get an L. And I felt bad because I'm like, no. It's one thing for our bags to fly, but not my mom losing out on money she put out or points and all this stuff for a trip we can't even get to for no fault of our own, right? So we leave the airport. My dad comes and picks us back up and we're like, all right, at least we're going to try and get out at 10 p.m. And we go back to my parents' house and my mom is like trying to make calls, trying to cancel stuff, figure out stuff, change stuff, yada, yada. Just for a couple hours to go by and it's probably like three o'clock, four o'clock p.m. And we find out that the 10 p.m. flight is canceled. And there was an impending storm last night and it did end up storming and there's damage around Baltimore, as you can see. So we're like, you, our bags are still in Detroit. So that was another thing we had to work out. My mom was able to work some stuff out, but it just was literally one thing after the other. So we still want to go to Detroit to see my great aunt and get there, but we just don't know when. Oh, and the other kicker. The other kicker was we've been trying to go recently because the buddy passes that Layla and I were supposed to use are about to expire like in a week or two. So that was another thing. Like if we don't use these buddy passes, they're gonna expire. And then another issue was the buddy passes being tied up in the system with the flights that were canceled and the flights we didn't get on. Like every time you put it in the system, you kind of have to cancel that buddy pass so it's not lost in the system, even though you didn't use it. So it's just been like chaos with traveling and whatnot. But a vlog is a vlog. This is real life stuff that happens. This is all real life right now, but it's okay. I give glory to God because, you know, we look at this as the losses and um, my mom was able to recover 50% of her points from the hotel, but she lost yesterday, um, unfortunately. Um, it just seems like lost, lost. We don't have our bags, but Thankfully, she was able to reach someone in Detroit's baggage claim for Southwest and they said that they would send our bags back sometime today. So prayerfully, that is the case. God, please let that happen. Um, but while it's not what we wanted, sometimes you have to think about the situation and look at it like, God, whatever you are protecting us from, for whatever reason, you did not want us to be there. Cause it was like, God is like, no, um, no, 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 and no. So I don't know why, but I also want to thank God for whatever reason. For whatever reason, it was meant for us to be here last night, here today. So God gets the glory for that. And you know, life happens life happens all right you ready to go see mama you ready okay
save you, okay? Yay! I will make sure you get to the playground. Okay. okay. I said I might as well share my scent of the day with y'all. I started off using a perfume oil from the oil lady and it was the Killian Princess. I don't need a prince by my side to be a princess. Perfume oil, which has notes of like green tea, ginger, marshmallow, apple, peach, all that good stuff. And then I added a little bit of my, the oil lady perfume oil, which was inspired by Donna Born in Roma Green Stravaganza, which has jasmine and tea and vanilla. And it's one of my new favorite scents. I wore it for the first time at the airport yesterday and I'm in love and I'm obsessed. So I said, let me wear them together. If I had to choose between the Princess Perfume Oil or the Donna Born Aroma Green Stravaganza, I would choose Donna Born Aroma Green Stravaganza for sure. Yeah, at least for the summer. But I think I actually like the scent more in general and the perfume oil is strong which i love um so i smell good i actually got complimented on my scent by my grandmother when i was about to leave the house she said i smell good so yes got me a compliment wanted to show y'all my perfume oil real quick if I can find it here's the first one Killian's I don't need a prince by my side again from the oil lady it's such a sweet fluffy semi fresh scent fresh vanilla I really enjoy this fragrance. It's a marshmallowy ginger. It's like Bath and Body Works white tea and ginger just with marshmallow, if you can imagine it. That's what it's giving. And then my other perfume oil, which I just recently got, the Green Stravaganza. I have to say it like that, green stravaganza. Should be right here. God said it, I believe it. Born in Roma, green stravaganza. I love this. Oh, I love it. I love it. It's a stronger T note. It's fresher. It's, it's really good. Very, very good in my opinion. I love it. And I love it. Shout out to the oil lady, A Black on Business. Happy Sunday. <laughs> Happy Sunday.
with next lifetime on Love and R&B. But in this lifetime, and more accurately, last month, she was named the number one artist of all time by Forbes magazine. These kind of lists are always open for discussion, but she's definitely one of the most unique and talented artists of all time for sure. Another one of those types, Prince, kicks off a set of music right after this. Magic 95.9. We were on the 12B bus this morning when I caught a whiff. A scent so fresh, so life-changing, I had to find its source. Alas, I didn't know if you were the woman in the pink freshly washed cardigan or the retired mailman next to me, but I knew one of you was my soulmate. Ah, uh, the scent of Game Flings. Try Game Flings with Oxy Boost and Febreze. Hey, what are you doing? I got a sweeper duster to help you. Y'all, I'm about to go get my family some Rita's. So. Oh, update. My mom got our bags back. Shout out to Southwest. And whoever was working in Detroit that put our bags on the plane, that they made it back here. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. We got our bags. We got our bags. Hallelujah. It was the girl working at Rita's telling me I smell good for me. Thank you. I told her it was the oil lady, black owned business. Shout out to the oil lady. I'm telling y'all, people can smell these oils on you. So I got three Georgia peach gelatis and a vanilla frozen custard for my brother. And now that I'm thinking, I should have got one large because I know I'm going to share mine with Layla. Why would I do that to myself? Cause I hardly, I mean, I do get her stuff for herself sometimes, but it's the fact that I'm going to have to feed her. I mean, not a hundred percent, but with something like gelati, but honestly, I'm also thinking she had a whole popsicle earlier and she don't need it. So it's probably best that I got the small because neither one of us need need a lot anyway so y'all I'm just thinking out loud just thinking out loud <laughs> Layla's out here living her best life she put on her dress over her clothes she's laying in the chair backwards Hey, Fancy Nancy. Hi. No, no, give me some. What? Uh, uh, uh. We have to fill up the bubbles. Mommy forgot to bring them. <laughs> Thank you, For thousands of years, we have been at war, but before we were enemies. You ready? Always ready. Let's punch in. Hey, thank you. Hey, watch where you're going. What did you say? Allow me. I appreciate you having my back. No matter what. Meets the eye. A cave with teeth. Nothing's the environment. Please don't text. Don't post. Don't talk. Because when phones are turned off and the lights are turned down, the movie really shines.
like the movie? Why they make that mess? I'm over there. I can see. Oh, okay. What'd you think? I liked it. What'd you think, Bubby? What movie did we go see, Layla? Um, Say Harold um, and, and the yeah. purple crayon. Crayon. I thought it was a good movie. I enjoyed it. Layla was entertained and watching it the whole time with the exception of when she was grabbing and munching on her snacks thought it was good and even someone Layla's age I felt like it was engaging and you know semi comprehensible there was some animation and some action that kids would enjoy so I'm glad we went to go see that movie and I liked it I would rate it probably like 8.5 out of 10. You know, it's a movie I would watch again. Good. I liked it. I thought it also had a nice message. You know, make you teary-eyed at the end. It was good. It was good, good, good. Now we're in the parking lot of Walmart. My mom went to go in and uh, get a refund for something take something back so we're just waiting for her earlier in this video I had said I probably wasn't going to do my Jazara's Couture unboxing in this video but I think I am because people don't like to watch my vlogs let me stop saying that my vlogs don't get a lot of views typically so you know, I said, let me throw in some perfume content as a reward to my loyal glow getters. My glow gang that actually watch my videos like my vlogs. So, you know, you get the tea. You get the real information. You get some new perfume content that people that don't like to watch my vlogs not going to get. So, shout out to y'all. I will do the unboxing for this video. And then I might wrap up the vlog there, quite possibly. Where the sun? I always like to catch the sun. Like, Lord, give me the sun. Give me the glow. Give me the glow. Just give me the light. Just give me the light. Just give me the light. I need to get another strapless bra because I don't like how this looks. Why is your seatbelt you know, unbuckled? It is supposed to. He's not saying anything so controversial that even did it. Why is it unbuckled? I already it buckled it back up. But I know this. We've asked that question, a very probation of that question. I'm feeding my kids. You're not supposed to unbuckle that. Is that the way it runs in jail? We're going to go to You're not supposed to unbuckle that. That's not safe. Yeah, you saying no, Baba, because you know you're not supposed to do it. Why did you do it? When I told you don't do that anymore. I told you don't do that twice because I've already had to rebuckle you up twice today. You want to get in trouble? I told you stop unbuckling. That's not safe. Okay? You don't necessarily Y'all twist. Where am I twist out? Not a twist out, but wearing my twist out might just be my new style. I used to hate wearing my twist out and will only do this for a twist out. But let me find out. I'm about to be a twist girl. Because all I've been doing 
Let's put my twist in a ponytail. Let me find out. Let me find out. Let me find out. I'm a twist girl. Twist girl. Twist girl. I'm a twist girl. Twist girl. Not a material girl, but a twist girl. Ma'am. I just have to start doing my parts and stuff neat. So I feel more confident in my twist. But I also don't care. Like, I really don't care. The way my cares are set up, they're pretty non-existent. So, Layla, Miss Ma'am. Miss Ma'am, can you not? That is not ladylike. Layla. Can you not? Can you not? Y'all ready for an unboxing and first impression for some Jazara's Couture products? I said, let me come out here while I can. And let me hurry up because once the air condition unit kicks on, it gets so loud. Jazara's Couture packaging, always top tier, 10 out of 10. And if y'all didn't know, I am an affiliate with Jazara's Couture, a black owned business out of Detroit, Michigan. Go shop. Jazara's Couture and use my code low so natural. No spaces. Low so natural. Skincare, fragrance, you get it all. I'm so excited. Y'all, this thing is taped up and me without my scissors and my keys in the door. Something told me to get some scissors, but I was being stubborn. Packaging. Immaculate. Ooh, new cards. I love the branding. So cute. The website is www shopjazarascouture.com Y'all, I am so, 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 so excited. Ooh, I got two perfume oils and a travel size fragrance. Okay, 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 okay. Top tier packaging. Protected. Never neglected. Look. Let's start off with this one because I just pulled it out. This is Spiced Vanilla inspired by MFK's Mason Francis Kirk John's Gentle fluidity gold let's see I smell it wait a minute wait a minute oil it does smell like gentle fluidity gold 
and I would know because I have it. This is a hit. Y'all. So, I want to say that this is a great Inspired by Impression scent. It literally smells like Gentle Fluidity Gold. If you aren't familiar with the scent, it is a... It is a unisex spice vanilla with notes of juniper berries, vanilla, there's some nutmeg, and some other stuff I can't remember. This smells like gentle fluidity gold, but I would say this is still a unisex spice vanilla, but to me, this smells a little bit more feminine than the original. I'm not going to say just more feminine in general, just a little bit less masculine than the original. And I like that. This would layer perfectly with Gentle Fluidity Gold or any other Gentle Fluidity Gold inspired scent. I 100% think if you know Gentle Fluidity Gold and you smell this, you'll be like, yeah, this is Gentle Fluidity Gold. There is something a little bit smoother about spiced vanilla. It's not as sharp as Gentle Fluidity Gold. And the original is not too sharp. It's a scent I enjoy. I thoroughly love the scent, but I also really like this. I would say as far as being spot on, I would give this at least a 9 out of 10, if not 9.5. I like it. It's definitely giving spice vanilla, but it's not too spicy. It's not too heavy. This is a vanilla you can wear all year round. To me, there is a freshness to it, but it is still spicy. I would rate the scent 10 out of 10, but for spot on is 9 or 9.5 out of 10. I'm excited. I will definitely put the notes on the screen. This is good. And y'all, I have perfume oils, 10 milliliters. This is Sweet Amber, and I'm so excited about this because it is inspired by one of my recent faves, and that is Prada Paradox. I, I have high hopes, high hopes, high hopes. Mm. Okay, so I'm going to roll it on the paper and then roll a little bit on my skin to see what I'm getting. Oh, I smell it. I can smell it already. Strong. Let's see. This, I really like. It's giving a, it does give a sweet amber feel. It's definitely fruity. It's fresh, it's fruity in a candy-like way. The sweetness gives candy vibes, but in a mature way. I definitely get Prada Paradox. 
I feel like this is definitely inspired by it. I wouldn't say it's a spot on fragrance, but I can definitely pick up the DNA. The difference I'm picking up, and hopefully I can articulate it. There's something more mellow about this fragrance. And I would compare it to kind of how I felt about Spice Vanilla versus the OG Gentle Fluidity Gold. This compared to the OG Paradox. There is something fresh about Paradox. There's something sweet about it. But there is something also a little bit not screechy, but there is a note that is prominent. And I don't know if it's the Neroli or what it is that kind of makes Prada Paradox have a pizzazz. This, it has pizzazz. Don't get me wrong, but it's like not as sharp not as screechy and i love Prada paradox but i also love this this i would 100 percent wear with it to me i get the pear i get the sweetness i get like a vanilla i get an amber but it's just not as sharp so while I know Prada Paradox is mass appealing for a lot of people, if you find that there is a note in Prada Paradox that you don't like, and maybe the fragrance is a little too heavy for you, or maybe a little too sharp, maybe a little too thick, like syrupy, thick, sweet, thick. I feel like this is a more mellow version and this would be even more mass appealing than Prada Paradox. This is giving, if you are a lady that likes a mature scent, like you wanna smell like a lady, but you also like candy sweet scents, but you also like a little freshness, but not too fresh, this is the scent for you. It's giving mature. You could wear this date night. You could wear this brunch. You could wear this. You could wear this anytime. There is something a little warm about it as well, which I feel like would be beautiful for cooler weather, but there is something still fresh and not too thick, not too heavy about this where you could wear it right now. Spot on this, I would give it 8.5 out of 10. The scent. I would give it 9 out of 10. Only 9 out of 10 and not like 10 out of 10 because I feel like it's a little lighter as far as like being beast mode than the OG. But I'm not saying that this is just a skin scent. I feel like somebody would smell it on you, but I feel like the OG is just a little stronger. Whereas I'm comparing Spice Vanilla to Sweet Amber and Spice Vanilla is stronger, but of course it has spices in it, so it's going to be stronger. But I'm just telling y'all, if you want a fragrance that's a little bit more beast mode out of the two that I have, Spice Vanilla or Sweet Amber, Spice Vanilla is going to be the more projecting perfume oil. But Sweet Amber, I really like, like... If you like Prada Paradox and you don't want to spend Prada Paradox money, I feel like this would just make you smell good. Mm. 
yeah i'm impressed now we're moving on to the fragrance i'm honestly most excited for but this is a new original scent by jazara's couture and it's called pink musk y'all and i love that this travel size box has the fragrance notes on there packaging again top tier the aesthetic of this is just giving everything that i love y'all look at this black business excellence pink musk with a name like pink musk it has to be good because i like all things scents that are pink all things that are girly candy like sweet and i also like musky scents so you put pink and musk together this one is a spray her atomizers are amazing look at that Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. I love it. I love it. I love it. 20 out of 10. This smells like, initially, it smells like green apple and marshmallow and sugary sweetness. Like green apple, like a candy green apple. Ca emphasis on the candy. A candy green apple, marshmallow, and cotton candy. I have looked at the notes before but i don't remember the notes off the top of my head sugary it's fluffy it's so sweet but it's not juvenile the tartness of like the green apple is so good and i used to not even like apple scents y'all i came around to apple scents recently this is good y'all all right, so the fragrance notes are green apple, raw sugar, didn't I say it was sugary sweet? Fluffy marshmallow, emphasis on the fluffy. Pink cotton candy. Peony, which is one of my favorite floral notes. Geranium, which I have found are in some of my favorite fragrances. Sweet strawberry, which I am picking up musk and tonka bean with fragrance notes like that it has to be a hit i would say hands down this would probably be my favorite jazara's couture fragrance thus far jazara's couture has a hit on their hands with pink musk it's so good it's giving me barbie girl it's giving fluffy cotton candy fluffy marshmallow but it's not too too cloyingly sweet because it's offset by a tart green apple and then i think the floral notes also help mature it a little bit now i'm not gonna say this is the most mature scent in the world no this is for the fragrance girlies like me the gourmand girlies like me that like sweet fragrances not necessarily like decadent decadent smell like cake this is like you smell like Candy and it's a powderiness about it, which I don't know if it's coming from the panty or what. It's giving powdery green apple, marshmallow, cotton candy. It's not giving pixie stick powdery, but it's giving like in the same vein as that, but like less powdery, sweet like that. I don't know y'all, it's really good. What I love is the fluffiness. What I love is the sweetness, but it's not too sweet. It just smells good. 
it's the scent I can't stop smelling. The tonka bean in it just smooths it out. And then the musk. Add this to my favorites list. Yeah, they got a hit. It's a hit. It's a hit. All of these are a hit, honestly. I would say Pink Musk is my favorite, then Spice Vanilla, then Sweet Amber. But I love all of them. All of them. Not just both of them, but all of them. I'm hot, y'all. Go support this big business. I don't like calling businesses small. Go support this big business. I promise you won't regret it. Not only does she offer fragrances, there are also body care products. You can get body butters, body oils, body creams. You can get fragrances for men or women. You can get it all. Go shop to Zara's Couture and use my code LOSO Natural. Y'all, I think I'm gonna wrap up my vlog here. I hope y'all enjoy spending a couple days with me. I had thought it was gonna be a travel vlog, but you know, I traveled back home. And so I just made it a vlog vlog. If you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. Share it with somebody who likes realistic content with fragrance sprinkled in there. And make sure you're subscribed if you're not a current subscriber. I welcome you. Become a glow getter. Join the glow gang. Comment down below if you enjoyed this vlog and if you want more vlogs from me. But even if you don't, I'm sure there are still some more vlogs on the way. Thank y'all so much for watching. I love you guys.